Hi everyone, welcome to the Sugar and Crumbs kitchen. Well, tonight we've got Doreen Griffin in the kitchen who's going to show you some model making. She's got some, some pretty little beauties in here. So, Maria, uh, Laura, do you want to just have a little quick flash of what we've got yeah. here? Can you see them all? And do, yeah. Fantastic. So, Doreen is going to show you how to make this little lady. If she gets time, this rabbit, and we'll make sure she does have time. <laughs> and she's going to make this little fella whose hair I knocked off and we had to do a quick repair job just <laughs> now. So, so Doreen is here. She's going to show you how to use these. She's using Renshaw uh, flower modeling paste tonight. She's a nervous wreck. I can feel her shaking here now. <laughs> <laughs> so do make sure you get those thumbs up, love hearts going, let her know that you're here. So let me tell you who else is in the kitchen. As per usual, we've got Laura and Maria in the kitchen. Hi, girls. Hi. And then we've got a newbie. Come on, Shelley. <laughs> Hi, everyone. So, <laughs> Shelley is going to be working alongside Maria, and Maria is training her to uh, make little videos. So in a few weeks, you should be seeing Shelley bobbing around. And she's a great mate for Maria, because she's always cold as well. Look at this. The hoodie's on. I've got no clothes on. And look at her, all wrapped up. So you'll be seeing Shelley often as well. And then you may come a time you might see both of them bobbing around, just while Shelley gets on into how it all works yeah, here. Yeah, when they get familiar with it all. And, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, so we'll just let you, let you know who she is, just in case you thought somebody was wandering along. <laughs> so we'll let you go back. She's over this side tonight watching. We'll let you get back over there, yes. shall we? Mm -hmm. So then, if you, then we've also got Doreen's daughter in the kitchen. Do you want to come on and say hello? Oh, no, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so she's sitting next to Laura tonight. She has been the co-driver. So they've had a little experience, went a few miles out the way, but they got here in the end. And she's um, here tonight supporting her mother. So we're very pleased to have you in the kitchen, Jo. Thank you for bringing Doreen over. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> then a few things that we're going, do you remember, we're going to do. Do you remember we said that we were going to do a competition tonight on who could win these little beauties? So the, and Doreen's got a pet, one of these as well. Uh -huh. These are absolutely fabulous. Should we show them? Are we there? So these are absolutely fabulous, okay? These are brushes in by Global Sugar Artists Network. They're absolutely amazing. They're perfect for fine detail. I'm going to leave them in the packet. They're perfect for fine detail. We said that we were gonna put on a competition tonight, um, a competition all week, and you could like and share. So the competition shut at six o'clock tonight. Oh, putting it on the wrong one. My OCD was so kicking in then. Putting your OCD on the wrong one. Wrong one. <laughs> black on white, white on black. <laughs> so we're going to do this. So we've got a nice bowl of uh, goodies here. And Doreen's going to pick the winner sometime tonight. We're not going to tell you when, because you've got to stay here and watch the all of them. <laughs> so sometime tonight, we'll be letting Doreen pick one What's of these bad mine? boys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be funny, wouldn't it? <laughs> Absolutely. Every one of these says Doreen Griffin. <laughs> <laughs> so anyhow, so just to let you know, oh, one of those fell out there. So that will be going in there. We're going to do that tonight. And then I just want to tell you about a few new products that are in. So I'm just going to move these out of the way because I need to show you this bad boy. Do you want to just put those on the stand there, girls, if I pass them over to you? Because I'm probably going to wreck the whole display in a minute. You know what I'm like. Already knocked the baby's hair off. <laughs> so we're going to do that. This is settling in time for Doreen. Get over her nerves. There we go. Pop that over there. There we go. She's not making the box, but I meant to put that in the... You've seen this with Marion Frost making it. So I meant to put it on the um, wish list for you as well, but I'll put that on it shortly. And then last but not least... They're adorable, those. Aren't they? So lovely, aren't they? So um, a few things that we're, we've got on tonight. So we've got labels in, okay? So we've got these bad boys in. I don't know if you can see them. Yeah. So they come in packs of 100. Escaping. Okay. So this square one. And made with love, baked with love. There's a whole variety of them. I have put them in tonight's wish list for you so that you can see them. And we also have the allergens as well. So if you're doing your cakes and bakes, then you've got the allergen list there as well. So you can just tick them off for everybody to know. So they're on the website. They're also in the wish list tonight. And um, they come in packs of 100, rolls of 100. So we'll pop those back on there. There we go. Let me give you those back to arrange. 
I've also put new classes on the website as well. So I told you Sorry Fancy Cakes was coming and I actually I didn't put her classes up. So they're also in the wish list and on new arrivals. Zoe is here the 15th and 16th of June. She's going to be doing her bride and groom. In fact, do you want to just pass me that bride and groom, Maria? This is amazing, this. It's absolutely lovely. It's one of Zoe's top selling classes. Okay, and the bride and groom, it's great because it shows you how to make a male and a female. So even though we put it together as a bride and groom, there's nothing stopping you making the female into a princess. Could make the guy into a prince. You could put him in an army outfit, a fireman's outfit, could put any outfit on. So the whole idea is about learning how to make the actual model. So we've got the bride and groom class. That's on the 16th. 15th of June and then we've got the characters class where you learn to make small characters one sitting down one stood up they're fab and um, so we and do you know it's amazing last year's class everybody made different characters it was it's crazy really by the time they've done the hair some had pigtails some had long hair some had them on top all sorts of things she shows you loads of techniques and it's an absolutely great class so we're going to do that one again that's going to be on the 16th of June um, I did my cupcake bouquet class on Saturday. It was a great success. Our baking classes have been really good as well. I've got a couple of places left on our baking class. And I've squashed in another cupcake class for June. I think it's June the 2nd. Um, I can't really do much in July and August. Um, and it, I can't really do too many classes in July and August. So I've just squashed that one in because I think classes will start again in September once we've got the June classes out. So if anybody wants to get on that cupcake bouquet class, it's Sunday the 2nd of June. So I've just squashed that in mainly because the 27th was already booked up and people have been ringing all day today for the girls asking them when the next class is on. So you now know that's on the 2nd of June. And then I just want to tell you about this big box that is in. And, uh, when I brought this big box, can't see you now, Carol. <laughs> <laughs> Just so you can see how big it is. So this big box is in, they're called transport box. We do sell um, cake transport boxes and these are much stronger than your normal white cake box and lid. And you'll find that people save these, reuse them, reuse them. I know when we have tutors coming in doing demos and things like that, they use these boxes and they're taped up, aren't they girls? They're taped up with brown tape. They've got the name of the last cake in, everything. But I just want to show you how big this is. So I may need some assistance. So, and then if I can muck everything up, let's see what happens on the show on it tonight, eh? Muck <laughs> everything out. So let's just uh, flip this one out here. Does that come out there? No, oh, not no. that side. Wrong side. I'm not looking at anything. Not now. quite. <laughs> so <laughs> that's what they're Maria. waiting for. So let me just. So you take it down. Yep. And there you go. Don't know whether you can see. <laughs> so we've got a one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four tier cake and still space. Can we just move that there? Can you see that? Yep. Yeah. Now they do get bases in here, so you get supporting bases so that they don't slide around. Maria, pass me that brown thing, please. Which one? This one's the brown thing. Yeah. Brown. <laughs> <laughs> this is brown. She can't tell me she's blonde. Every time she does something, she goes, I'm blonde, Carol. Brown. Brown. <laughs> brown. Brown. So you get these little things inside so that you can decide. So if that, if you've got um, an, a 10 inch, a 12 inch, um, you can choose which size you want it in. And this sits inside and supports. And they also got a square one as well. So, um, so then your cake isn't sliding around. It's actually sat in that little ledge. So they're great value, okay? So they're on the website, they're on the wish list as well. So any of you who wants to uh, use your big cakes, and I'll be taking these when I go to Paul Bradford and do his class. And I was just laughing with Maria earlier. We're not exactly sure who knee, whose knee is going to go on on the flight home. But we've got two of these boxes to come home. So Laura's just oh, pointing, no. Laura's pointing <laughs> at Maria. So you know she's getting one as well, don't you? <laughs> That'd be fun because the other one's long ways. So, <laughs> is long ways a word? <laughs> I don't know. Length ways. Length that's ways. Yeah. That's the there one. There we go. Right. So let's get this back up here. Laura, Maria, can I can we get that inside? Lynn Woodward just said I thought Carol was going to put Doreen in that box. <laughs> Doreen might want to get in this box. Far too big. 
They are fantastic though. So how is everybody joining us tonight? Fantastic. Are you all excited? Oh, we certainly are. Loads of, get, of well wishes for you, Doreen, and positive comments. Thank saying you. good luck. Everyone's very excited that they're managing to put a face to the name, by the way. So I think, I think they've seen all your comments and your work on the community page. Um, loads of people, really positive comments. So good luck yeah. for tonight. And we thank have to you. thank Karen Naylor, one of our admins, because I did her story in a long time ago and she went, no. <laughs> no. I'm I know, Karen. Karen yeah. fault. I'm standing here now. <laughs> and Karen Naylor, neither the living daylights ever. And Karen Naylor said to me, Would you ask Doreen Griffin as a bastard? So she said no. So, <laughs> but whatever Karen Naylor did, she got her here and she's here now. So please make sure you do support her. You're going to thoroughly enjoy tonight. It's great fun. As per usual, I'll be sat next to Laura munching away on something, drinking a drink, and probably with our usual banter. Anybody who's new to the Sugar and Crumbs Kitchen, if you're watching tonight, it's just a really friendly group. Everything that's made in here, whether it's edible or non-edible, it's not for resale, it's just to show you how to make it. So if you see us touch our hair or we've got pink nails on or whatever it is that we do, do not worry, it's not actually going out to a consumer, it's just us here in the kitchen. And as we say, what goes on in the Sugar and Crumbs Kitchen stays in the Sugar and Crumbs Kitchen. Done it, Doreen. Yes, She's positive. open to go home tonight. <laughs> <laughs> we keep all the tutors locked up and keep them in the back room so they can't go again. So I will get Laura to do some shout outs, tell you about where the wish list is and everything else. And I'll go and get my cup of tea and sit around here. So get comfy. Are you ready to go? Yes. Good. Super. <laughs> See you soon. Right. Right, Laura, Maria. Laura, do the shout out. Um, we've got loads, we've actually got a lot of new viewers tonight, so no you haven't missed the draw, so no one's missed the draw just yet, we've not done the draw for the um, brushes just yet, we'll do it later on. Um, so if anyone who's new watching us, positive comments all the way, say hi, introduce yourself and where you're from, um, any comments or questions that you've got, just let us know and we'll try and answer them as we go through the live, um, but we do try and keep it on topic, just because we're, we're pushed for time. Um, and obviously the feed, the feed moves very quickly so we'll try and do what we can um, but anything that we miss we will try and catch up when we've finished all tomorrow and um, for anything that you want to purchase that Doreen's using this evening just jump over to the Sugar and Crumbs website you can either search by brand or the search bar at the top of the website page and the other really fantastic feature we've got is the Facebook Live wish list so right at the top of the page on the right hand side um, you can drop down to this month's live and find Doreen and then everything that she's using will be in the Facebook live wish list. We are getting the show on Lynn Woodward, we promise, let the show start. <laughs> we are getting there, we just like to introduce people and let everybody know what we're doing and what new products we've got and things like that. So we'll, uh, we'll let Doreen work her Somebody magic now. Already. I know, yeah, we've been going 15 minutes. <laughs> so yes, off you go Doreen. We're starting on the little boy. And this is his body, so it's just the ball to start off with, and then into a comb. Yeah. Just flatten the bottom slightly, and then just so we give him a little bit of a bottom. Yeah. We put a little mark around the middle. <laughs> this is where the concentration starts. So it's literally just a little groove with your indentation of your fingers, yeah? yeah? So just to let you know, anybody who hasn't watched, Doreen is actually not a tutor or anything like that. She's actually a community member. And Doreen's been following the Sugar and Crumbs page and the tutors that have come along. She also watches YouTube tutorials. You carry on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she also watches YouTube tutorials, picks up hints and tips on people who've been in, like Georgie Gobbled, Marion Frost, Karen Davies, and, um, and, has, and actually has a love for making models. It's something that keeps her occupied. She enjoys it. She doesn't do it as a business. It's just something that she um, does for fun. And as her daughter said, they're all over the house. <laughs> So if we want to go by and have a raid, we're just going to give out Doreen's address. <laughs> My husband's um, moving out next week. Is it, is there's there's no space for him. <laughs> right, this just goes into a log shape. We want it on this one end at least, with a little ball on. 
in between your fingers and just make it into a round. And then flick it up and back down. Straighten his leg off. Same with the other one. And you measure everything, don't you, Doreen? Well, actually, you I don't, don't measure everything, but people have asked you for the yeah. measurements, haven't they? We've got a fantastic audience tonight. There's 377 people currently watching you, Doreen. Oh, dear. <laughs> From all over. We've got, we've got worldwide viewers tonight. And that's what we want, worldwide viewers. 236 comments. And, Laura, you've not read everyone out? I know, yeah. I'm not, I'm not that quick tonight. <laughs> Right now, they're a bit long, <laughs> so <laughs> they're a bit long. <laughs> so you might have to do some of this back to front, Doreen. Well, right. <laughs> Don't worry, we're on a good camera angle at the moment. <laughs> so for anyone just joining us, I'll just flash over to the little models that Doreen's going to be running us through tonight. So we're currently starting with a little baby boy, is that right? Yes. So we've just done his body and onto his legs, as you can see. Just a um, blue on the end. And then onto his body. Oh, are you 70 on Sunday? Saturday. <laughs> on Saturday. Did you have to? See, Sorry. Oh, it's always in the just, comments. Somebody's just said, they're all shouting it out. You're never, Saturday, you're never 70 on Saturday. Yeah. Who's that? Should we sing happy birthday? Oh. Happy birthday to Doreen. Happy birthday to Doreen. <laughs> <laughs> you never told us that. I've just read it in the comments. Oh. Who's done that? Carol Butler. People said it. All right. <laughs> Yeah, there's a couple of people said it actually. Oh, is there? Yeah. You've all been happy. Oh, yeah, there is. Helen Miles. Yeah. <laughs> Amanda Mitchin. Yeah. Nikki Rimmer Rollins. Oh, my goodness. Where have they found that? They've all been nosing at your profile. Carol Butler. Must have been. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, we've got a few people over from Australia watching you as well, which is fantastic. So, some regulars there. Karen Naylor's got her eye on you. <laughs> <laughs> there's a cocktail stick. In his body, so his head can sit nicely on. So do you do you remember when we're using cocktail sticks as well? Just before anybody says anything, these are models. They're not for eating. Even though we're using edible um, flour modelling paste, they're not really for eating. Really, they're actually meant to be um, keepsakes, aren't they? Most people keep them, don't they? Yeah, I think but break your teeth. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> but if somebody does want to eat them, or you, whenever you give them, if you make these and you give them away to a customer, just make sure that you tell them that there is a cocktail stick inside, and they'll need to remove that. Right. His arms are just like a, an extended teardrop shape. Somebody's just said, you don't look a day over 58, Dory. That <laughs> means you look the same age as me. All oh, right. Well, I'm not 58 yet. I'm on the way. I've just turned 57. <laughs> Two little holes for his hands to go in. I think when you pop the arms on, they start. It starts coming together really quickly. Then. Yeah. Yeah. It's a lovely colour blue as well. Isn't yeah. It? It's that hairdryer blue, isn't mm. it? Yeah. Do we want to move that camera so it's on the front there, or you, have you got a good what view? Behind Dorian, maybe. Yeah. Do you think? Mm. Do you think we should move that camera there, Maria? Might be a little Yeah. Do you want to get Shelley on the camera, Shelley? Um, so, yes, you can use um, a, a piece of raw spaghetti stick if you wanted to instead of a cocktail stick. It's personal choice. Um, you know, we've, we've had you know, tutors in before who have done that. Um, it is just personal choice. But again, you wouldn't even, even with that in it, it's, you know, 
you'd still remove it before you gave it to someone yeah. to eat because it is rock hard. <laughs> yeah. And dry spaghetti is as well. Yeah. And yeah. some people actually make sticks out of modeling paste, out of yeah. modeling paste. Yeah. You, you know, they make those. But they still really are very hard and sharp. So it's always best to just make sure you tell your customer that if somebody is thinking of eating it, to just take out the centerpiece. Pop his head off, take out the centerpiece. Right, we need two hands, but what I do is when you've got five minutes, just sit and make them. In and advance. let them harden, harden off because it's better than not being twisted out of shape. Yeah, yeah. But you just make like an oblong, cut a V out. And that's all it is really. I use a little piece of cocktail stick, a bit of glue, stick it in and put them in a box and then they're ready. Yeah, that's a good idea. So, I make a load in advance. Yeah. I think it's a good idea making them because you, you do always knock them, don't you? Yeah, of course, yeah. So here's all my body parts. And, Miss, <laughs> and Mr Bradford is watching himself, Ooh, Paul yeah. Bradford. So hello, Paul. <laughs> So just in case Paul has, doesn't know, Paul, we have Doreen Griffin, who's one of our community members. She's not a tutor, but she makes models and she follows all you fabulous tutors when you've been on our, um, on our Facebook Lives and also watches YouTube to, tutorials, picking up hints and tips. Because she shows everybody on the page, all the, all the little models, lots of people have requested Doreen into the Sugar and Crumbs Christmas kitchen tonight. So have I. She refused me, but somehow Karen <laughs> Naylor managed to get through to her. <laughs> so. Um, yeah, you could probably do it without the stick and glue the head on, but whilst it's drying, it does need something to support it. It will be far too heavy to stay on its own. Yeah. Um, you know, once it's dry, maybe it will support itself, but to be honest, it's just safer whilst you're putting the model together to have something to support it. So that's a clever trick with popping the little co bit of cocktail stick into the hand part, isn't it? Yeah. You know, just to secure it into the arm as well. Yeah, it's far better. Well, yeah. Paul says, fantastic, well done, Doreen. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the first time Doreen has ever done anything like this, come on a live event. So, um, you know, she is a little bit nervous or quiet because she's a chatterbox, really. <laughs> <So> <laughs> And now I've lost my face. <laughs> <laughs> She's a box, really. But anyhow, I'm sure she'll settle down. That's what my husband calls me while he's watching football. <laughs> and somebody has just said, hi, Nanny, from your profile. Uh -huh. oh, no. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> he was making my husband have pizza tonight. Oh, was it? <laughs> <laughs> That's good, isn't it? So we've turned the camera now yeah, so they can see what you're doing. Yeah. Just making a collar. And this is all the <laughs> this is the flower and modelling paste we're using. All of this. Rentures. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody is saying that you're doing a fab job and amazingly well, Doreen. Thank you. I'm not usually as tidy as this. <laughs> <laughs> and they're all positive vibes. Don't be nervous. It's all looking good. So we've got Shelley on the camera tonight. Shelley, look at you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I always find, you know, when you get cracks in, in your in your pace. Yeah and you're doing your rolling. If you go one way and then the, other the way. opposite way, it, it does Does it help. take out, does it? It does oh, help to get all the creases out. I know, I must admit, I roll the same all the time and wonder why I've still got a yeah. crack in the middle of it. Right, we've got it into a ball for his head. Now we need to make an indent halfway down. Oh, here we go. 
Hi Doreen, do you have a book with your models in, please? <laughs> When's your first book being published? <laughs> so Karen, just let me tell you, so Karen Place has just said that, Doreen is actually a not professional model maker. This is something she does as a hobby and more for enjoyment. She doesn't, she doesn't make them for business or anything. It's just something that she likes to make. She used to make cakes when her children were younger and now she likes making models. She loves following YouTube videos and watching the Sugar and Crumbs tutors in the, um, in the Sugar and Crumbs kitchen. And she's learned lots of hints and tips and she posts on our community group. Because she posts on our community group, we've had lots of requests to get Doreen in. As I will repeat, she refused me, but Karen <laughs> Naylor must have badgered her to death and got her here, so she's here now. <laughs> Emma um, nose, she's got a very, very tiny nose. <laughs> so you'll see the two girls in the kitchen. We have a new recruit in the kitchen, Shelley. Maria is training her. She'll be get, she is learning how to do some videoing so they can make some one minute videos. Doreen has very kindly wrote out all the ingredients, weights and measurements that you need for each model she's gonna make tonight. And Maria, as soon as the videos are ready, she will post them on our recipe website as well as the news feed so that you can follow it. Oh, that nose is adorable. Yeah, it looks so cute, doesn't it? <laughs> Wish mine was like that. Yeah, so right. <laughs> right. It's just two balls put in for the eyes. Yeah, I like that idea. The sponge to rest his yeah. head on is a brilliant idea. Well, that's just a, a cheap, I think it was from Poundland. Yeah, and no, but it's it right such a good there. idea. It just stops you from squashing the head too much. Mm. Yeah. They all love his cute little nose yeah. as well. So what are you making now, the eyes? Doing the eyes, yeah. Bit of water in the... Karen Naylor said she badgered you for 48 hours till you <laughs> gave in. <laughs> She's obviously got the persuasive gene. <laughs> Helen Mill said, is the nose just a ball shape or was it shaped? It's an oval. It's an oval. Into, into a ball. Well, in a minute. And then just... I was going to say, if you put the eyes on, what yeah. you can do is you can make the nose again so that they can see it under this camera. Karen says you. Karen Play says you could make a book, Doreen, and you would sell loads of them. Want the nose again? Yep. So can you do the nose? Where can we get that as a little I clear one? Hands, right. Yeah. Have we got a cloth? Right. Have we got a cloth yet? Do you want a wet cloth or a dry cloth? A wet one, please. Uh, is your hand sticky? Use yeah, the corn flour pouch. It's just the black. That's... Oh, to clean it off. Yeah. Right. Okay. Up to 390 viewers. Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> Stop telling me. <laughs> so anything that anyone wants to purchase tonight, so we've got the tools, the edible glue, the cornflower pouch, I can see petal base, all the coloured modelling paste as well. And it's all available on the Sugar and Crumbs website. So if you head over to sugarandcrumbs.co.uk, you can either search by brand, um, search in the search box at the top of the page or head over to the Facebook Live wish list. Right, his nose is just a ball and then just flatten it a little bit till it goes into more of an oval shape. Right? Or you could just leave it round. <laughs> and that's all you've done? Because yeah. he looks really cute yeah. on there. Yeah. No, it's just Doesn't it? an oval shape. I like doing the ears. The ears. Yes. Oh, it looks really cute on there. The ears are just two balls. Everybody wants you to write a book, Doreen. Oh dear. Okay. <laughs> I've got a contact that I can give you. Your Joe's here, she can help you write it. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a ball and it goes on.
and then from the center just pull down and onto his face oh my oh, goodness that's wow. easy isn't it Pam more Pam more saying more. i'd buy the book get onto it carol please <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to let you get away with this one, Doreen. <laughs> you wouldn't think a little ball could turn into an ear, would you? <laughs> no. It's actually brilliant. So Maria says, is it better to use edible glue or water to stick the features on with? I think both is fine, isn't it? It's yeah, what you prefer. Both, yeah. it's I, think, I think if some of the things are heavy... Maybe use the glue. Just going yeah, to if it's eyes and ears, I would yeah, use water. Something this size, it's, yeah. it's quite okay. Come in together. Oh, look how cute he is. Now, because he's going to have a dummy, we don't bother putting a mouth on because right. no point really, is there? <laughs> um, um, we've got to do hair the carol. <laughs> I love it how you put everything all set out with little labels and tags and everything. <laughs> this is just just roll a long thin piece, a cocktail stick. Just wind it round it. to get a bit of the care on it. Oh, how cute. Yeah, it's cute. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yes, Michelle, it's all made from the Renshaw flower and modelling paste, so the colours are absolutely beautiful in the range. Um, it's so quick and easy, so you don't have to worry about colouring anything or matching your colours. It is really, really convenient for you. I use a pale pink just to give him a little blush on his cheek. Ah. <laughs> Really so thing. Kaylee, if you use flower modelling paste, you don't need to wait for it to dry out. It dries out very, very quickly. If you're going to use sugar paste, like roll out sugar paste, then you need to be adding a product called Tylo, CMT, CMC or gum tag. So you just use one of those and it's about half a teaspoon to a tea, teaspoon for 250 grams of roll out icing sugar. But what Doreen's using tonight is flower modelling paste and it dries very, very quickly. And she's using pre-coloured modelling paste. It's the Renshaw flower and modelling paste. It is on our wish list. What are we looking for? Sorry, it's a bit more blue. bit more blue, yeah. No, I've got some. Oh, you've got oh some. she's got some. Oh, we don't need any, Joe. <laughs> Everyone's looking for more paste. <laughs> Panic over. <laughs> Panic over. Yeah. All, all these helpers. <laughs> don't be expecting this when you go home. <laughs> right. He's got to be colour coordinated, so he's getting a blue dummy. Of course. <clears throat> so it's just the round cutter. Or anything you've got put round. How did you get the head coloured skin tone, Doreen? Um, I always just use orange. Yeah. If you start off just putting the tiniest drop in. Yeah. Um, I agree, that's a good idea. Because you can't take away, can you? No. You always add it. It's always less is more, isn't it? So, um, Kathleen, the head is actually white flower modelling flower modelling paste by Renshaw, and as Doreen said, she's just added the tiniest hint of orange, and she's just added more until she's got to the right colour that she wants to get to. Like she just said herself, only add a tiny bit because you can't take it away if you add too much. Nice. Just for the the handle loop, whatever you'd like to call it, on the dummy. 
I just use a cocktail stick through the centre. Hang on, we can't quite see that. That's it, down a bit. Just one sec. That's, That's it. it, perfect. Just onto a cocktail stick and push it up a bit because the cocktail stick is thicker there. You take it off again and you've got your hole in the oh, middle. How easy is that? Mm. <laughs> it's most probably a proper way to do it, but it's my <laughs> way. We well, you like your works. works. <laughs> <laughs> Leslie Bittle says he's adorable and has got hair just like her hubby. <laughs> <laughs> Not much then. <laughs> right, oh, now, so you cute. Can, you can just leave the collar white or like the one I've done, I've, I've painted little. So what do you want me to do? Do you want me to put Oh, you've got to do the whole yeah, trick, Doreen. Right? <laughs> <laughs> you can't do half a job. They want to know how you put them dots on. <laughs> So for anyone that's just joined us, I'll just show you a couple of the well, modelling figures that Doreen's blue, making this evening. Blue pen? No, blue uh, paint colour. I was going to put blue dots on them. I haven't got one. Oh, we need a blue pen. You can have a blue pen. If you get the fractal pens out there, the clicker pens underneath. So these are the models that Doreen's going to try and run through this evening. She's obviously started with the little baby boy. He's absolutely adorable. Um, so you'll see that there's a rabbit there, there's a, the larger little girls, uh, but they're all sort of the same concept in terms of the body, the arms, the legs, and it's just decorating them as, as you wish. Um, if anyone has missed any of the beginning or can't stay for the whole live this evening, it will be pinned to the top of our Facebook page when we're finished. Um, and you can also catch up when it gets transferred over to YouTube. It's normally by a Tuesday afternoon or a Wednesday. And you can also watch the one minute videos back as well that Maria and Shelley are filming for us this evening too. Oh, that really finishes it off though, that doesn't it? Well, you can either... Sometimes I, I do all the suit with the dots <laughs> Yeah. Well, I'm being quick tonight. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, Linda Miles, the sponge is basically to support the head just to stop it getting misshapen as um, Doreen's done, done the features, popping the nose on and things like that. So it's just a, it's just a rest really, um, just to make sure it keeps its shape. I think it looks cute with all the little dogs Adorable. On Absolutely adorable. I should have put him on that board. The stuck. Oh, his legs That's fell off. <laughs> <laughs> you did wang him on there though, you weren't gentle, were you? <laughs> he hasn't had time to set. <laughs> oh, which camera do we need to be on, Doreen? Oh. Why don't you turn him around, Doreen, to that camera? You, you turn him around to that camera. Again. Yeah. Nice. And then they can see and then. Super. Um, so the pens are from the Fractal range, they're called Caligra Brush Pens and they're in a fantastic range of colours. Um, the nib on them is absolutely amazing, it's, it doesn't drag on the fondant or the sugar paste whatsoever. Um, they're a brush, um, a brush nib, they're absolutely fantastic um, and they can be found under the Fractal brand on the um, Sugar and Plums website. I will put them in the wish list as so. there's a whole range of colours. They're actually suitable for vegetarians, vegans and halal diets as well. So they're fantastic. And they're a very thin nib, which you've already said, haven't you? That's right. Just making sure they're again. Exactly. Just making doubly sure. <laughs> so everybody says he looks absolutely adorable. This is handy, this um, little teddy mould. So um, Dorian's just using a little teddy mould. It's a small teddy mould from Katie Sue. We do stock it, it is on the website and it is in the wish list. So I do believe the baby's going to be holding this, isn't it Dorian? Yes. Yeah. Every baby needs a teddy. Aww. And now there's requests for classes for you to do. <laughs> I've just been told, Carol, you need to do a teaching day with Doreen. <laughs> <laughs> No pressure, so, Doreen. <laughs> anybody who wants a teaching day with Doreen, anybody who wants to join a class, we'll get Doreen back. <laughs> I'm saying this when this teddy doesn't come out. <laughs> you 
didn't come out very neatly. <laughs> don't worry. We know you're nervous, so don't worry. You're doing fantastic. Yeah. It's all looking good from what I can see, and everybody else is loving it as well. And now there's people saying they want to come on the class, Doreen, so when should we book you in, love? <laughs> And that's how much I charge, yes. Yeah. <laughs> is it Dina's? Is yeah. that how you say it? She says she'll come from LA for the day. <laughs> She's telling me she wants to come and live with me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, quite a few people saying yes, please. Yes, Alan, you're quite right. You could make the collar lacy as well. I think Dorian's done that on one of the boy. little ladies, <laughs> but because he's a boy, she didn't want to give him a lacy collar. A bit of water on his leg and on his arm, and he should sit nicely. Karen Naylor says she'll pick you up <laughs> <laughs> for the class. <laughs> and all that's left is the white to his eyes. And Lynn Woodward says we've got to book you in and you can stay with her for the weekend. <laughs> so is Lynn <laughs> local? We know Lynn, don't we? Yeah. I was telling Carol before... I've actually used number else. hundreds and thousands and my grandson sat and picked the white one. Did he? <laughs> oh, bless him. <laughs> bless him. <laughs> Did you pay him in cake? <laughs> no money. <laughs> <laughs> what a task. So I'll use these just to show you how easy it is. To be fair, that is a really good idea. Yeah, and it's a perfect ball. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Rather than the splodge of paint. Yeah, <laughs> which is what I would normally do. <laughs> the smudge, and then you get one eye right, and then yeah. the other one's like, oh no. <laughs> well, I watched a, um, a tutorial for something last week, and I I bought these this set mm. from Cal. And they use the, the end. Yeah. Line. And it's got so many different sizes. They're great, it's, aren't they? It's brilliant for yeah. putting the, the dots in for a small one. And that's him done. Gorgeous. So, what are we going to call him, everybody? There he is. He's Don't done. Turn, turn, turn him, him around. around. Oh, there we go. He used it. So, I'm Lynn. Like, yeah. Lynn, the little balls are, oh there, it's cute, do you want to turn him around this way, right way around to the camera? To the That's yeah, it. That's there he is. Yeah, there we go. That's what it. do we think, everybody? How cute is he? He's adorable. So, Lynn, what um, Doreen was using for the eyes was hundreds and thousands, and she got her grandson to pick out all the white ones. <laughs> <laughs> so, hundreds and thousands usually come in rainbow colours. And um, as I say, he's picked out the white ones. God bless him. Is that your little boy, Joe? Yeah. How old is he? Twelve. Oh, he's twelve. Oh, he's not so little then. I bet he was well chuffed with his nanny telling yeah. him to do that. Right, um, can we move this out the way? Yeah, yeah absolutely. That one. Next one. <laughs> you don't get a break here after you've had one. Do you want another coffee? No, thank you. You're doing all right? Right, so we'll make it. They love it. Beyond Sorry. adorable. Be gentle with them, Maria. No pressure. <laughs> Maria, it's okay. Oh, have you got another one? Oh, we've oh. got another one here, Doreen. Oh, another phone. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Thank Saved you. Her. Um, all the all the com all the comments are beyond adorable. Absolutely adorable. Well done. Thank you. He's so cute. Beautiful work. Brilliant, Doreen. Absolutely fantastic. Um, you need you're going to get an Oscar for that one. <laughs> Uh, they're going to call him Little Alfie. Alfie! Oh. <laughs> oh. Right, so make a star song. Who the big girl. The We're going to make the big girl. girl. Big and which big girl are you making? The pink one? The pink one. Yeah. So can you see her then? Oh, yeah. We've got her on there yet. Yeah. There we are. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Maria. Yeah. <laughs> I think you see her arm. <laughs> All the time. <laughs> Don't look so shocked, Maria. That's kind of the point of the Facebook Live is to have the cameras on. <laughs> mm -hmm. People love you on here, Maria, anyway. Love getting a glimpse on you. Yeah. <laughs> so, 
So what are we making now, which is right, this we'll bit? We'll start off with the, with the, you won't really see this because the dress covers it, but right. it's still going to have the shape. Yeah. I love the pink girl as well. Um, Diane Farah says, I love the pink girl, and I have to say I agree with you. I love them all, but I do think the pink girl is mm. stunning. Who's on your Facebook page tonight then, Dory? Is it the grandson or your yes. husband? Well, they said to call him Baby David. <laughs> That's my husband. Oh, is it? <laughs> <laughs> He's one big baby. <laughs> so Lynn Bond says that she hopes that she's going to see how you make the hat. And Lynn, yes, yes, she's going to show you how to do that. quite high really. So how high do you think that body is then? I think say? it's about three inches, yeah, don't you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now his legs. I mean her legs. Her legs. <laughs> <laughs> We've gone from in a he to a she. <laughs> I'll have to keep looking at it to see what comes next. <laughs> Should we bring it here in front of you? Yeah, Do you want to sit in front of you? Yeah. yeah. The little socks and everything. So we can do a little close-up, Maria, in front of this camera. So if you want to pull, come over to this camera, Maria. Ooh, so Laura. Nice. So if you just hold it there. So this is what Dorian's going to make now. I'll give you a little close-up there. How cute is she? Turn around, Maria, oh, so you can see the hat. Look, the details, gorgeous. Yeah. And Dorian's going to show you how to make the hat, everything together. So just be patient. Well done, Maria. Beautiful. Right, and then if you turn that there for Dorian to see, right. it's just stick on more or less a log, yeah. But you need it to be just that little bit thinner because that part of the leg has got to go into the hole into the shoes, so right. it's got to be thinner on, on one end. Oh, we're getting shoes as well. So all the tools that Dorian's using tonight is on the wish list on our website. So if you go to our website, sugarandcrumbs.co.uk, there's all the section there, which is home, brand, everything else, but go right the way along to the right hand side and it does say Facebook wish list. Drop down there into the menu, go into this month's menu and then you'll see Doreen Griffin and everything that she's using tonight will be there. So if anybody wants anything, the only thing that's not there is the hundreds and thousands, but I can pop them in. Make sure they're both the same size. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to put some comments, um, stuff in the products. Do you want to carry on with comments? comments? Yeah. This is just for two, two socks. It's just the little details like that that really make the difference though, isn't it? With the yeah. little socks and things like that. Yeah, I've on Carol's board. Oh, no. <laughs> you won't be invited back. <laughs> you won't believe how many people have cut on that board yeah. and have had heart failure. And then the amount of people that then comment and go, Oh, you're cutting on the green board. <laughs> what do you need? I thought I had another little knife there. Oh, right, okay. Do you want the little mini palette knife? Is that what you're looking for? Yeah, I thought I had I thought I've got it out. So There's one in the drawer, right there. Is it there? There, there it is, Dory. There it is. Oh, thank you. These are a godsend, these, aren't they? Let's just walk in the shop with the scissors. <laughs> Right now, that's going on the ankle part, the inner end. Don't go right down to the bottom. Oh, right, so you've left a little gap there, yeah. yeah. And I usually make a few marks just for the And on the socks. Uh, yes, it is the Renshaw flower and modelling paste that we're using tonight, Linda. So 
Uh, don't worry, Kath, you can catch up on the whole Facebook Live once we've finished this evening. Um, it will be pinned to the top of the Facebook page. And then you can also catch up on the YouTube channel as well. Uh, the white pad that Doreen's using is just a foam pad. Um, so it's great for modelling, it's great for when you're doing flowers and everything like that. The other board that she's using to cut on is just a, it's a hard board, it's a hard um, it acrylic. It comes in a set, it's the PME um, set, you get a blue board and a white board. Mexican. The Mexican pad set or something, isn't it? Is that on the wish list? Yeah. Because this one is quite a bit bigger than the baby boy, I think it just needs a little bit more support. So I usually put two pieces of pop, uh, pop get, <laughs> cocktail sticker. Yeah. It's all the small tips like that though as well that people sort of struggle with. Um, yeah. I, you know, I've attempted models in the past and to be honest, I just completely avoid them now. Me too. Um, <laughs> I'm useless at them. <laughs> Bit of glue on. Helen Brown says, it's amazing watching how they just come to life in front of your eyes. It really is. And this is the great thing that Doreen does. It's all step by step. And it's all the simple basics for the same models, just slightly altered for the sizes. And obviously, the, you know, the bigger girls to the smaller babies. And um, But it's all the same sort of concepts, isn't it? You know, you, your body, your legs, your head, you know, that kind of thing. And then just adding the details. But it is so fantastic to see each step actually being done live. So how long does it get you, how long does it take you to get organised and ready for tonight then, Doreen? Six weeks. <laughs> <laughs> how long ago was it when we asked you? It was quite a while ago when we asked you, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Six weeks. <laughs> <laughs> She'd been practising since then. <laughs> you are very organised though, to be yeah. honest. One of the most organised. One of the most organised persons being here. Yeah. Right, that's just one ball, and then it's quicker to have the ball and cut it in half for the shoes. And the shape. Once you've cut it, the shape is halfway there. So you're kind of keeping that flat edge where you've caught, yeah. yeah. That's a good idea. And we need to put <coughs> just a hole more towards one end for the leg to go in. Ah, uh, right, okay. And glue. Oh, I'm done the hole. <laughs> Um, no, Angie, our screen's not gone black. Unfortunately, I think it's your feed. So it might just be worth just closing your app down and relaunching it. We are still here and we are still live. Your Facebook's been a bit of a pain this week, hasn't it? Well, that After that big crash, yeah. Yeah, yeah it was terrible. <laughs> I was lost. <laughs> I still don't think it's... You have lost to actually talk no to people, <laughs> <laughs> physically. <laughs> I think that was a shock for the whole world, wasn't it? Oh, crikey. <laughs> Have to talk to a human instead of Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> right. Um, you just pass me that pink gel. Thank you. Um, Maria, the Renshaw flower and modeling paste is softer to model with. The Saracino is known for being very, very firm, but when you take it out of the packet, you do need to work it in your hands to warm it slightly and you will feel the texture softens a lot with Saracino. And um, it is down to personal choice as to which brand you use to be quite honest with you and it also depends on the colours as well. 
but I think once you get used to using a particular brand, then that's normally what people stick with. It's just a preference. Once you've kneaded it a bit, you know, the adhesive. Yeah. 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 It's, yeah, it does make a big difference. I just generally bung it in the microwave for five oh, to ten yeah. seconds. The, um, Renshaw's is, I find it a little bit easier. Mm. I make. find if you cut it off in small blocks and knead one small block at a time, and I've been on a couple of Renshaw classes and that's what they do, they chop it into one inch cubes, mm -hmm. and you can find you can knead them, get one going, then another one. So which part's this for? Is this this for is for the dress. The dress. You could do this any colour you like. Yeah. It's just that you tend to think a little girl's got it. Of course you do, I know. <laughs> I've lost my cutter. Please. Thank you. This is just, I call, I call them scum cutters, but yeah. the cookie cutters aren't yeah. there, anything really. And that's the largest one that I've used. Oh, is it? Yeah. It's, funny. it's, it's good that you've used that. Enough. Oh, right. I was so going to say, it's good that you've used that because I never want, I never use that one. Just need to roll <coughs> it out more. Oh, so you're just going to stretch it a bit? Yeah. Because it's got to go right yeah. over. Yeah. That's good to know. I looked everywhere for a cutter that was a lot bigger to have the frill round. Mm. But could you, oh, with the frill round, I was going to say you could use the saucer, couldn't you? But now you yeah. want the frill. Yeah. The hard work's done for you, isn't it, with the scalloped edge? Yeah. <laughs> Um, Dad, we don't sell the little pot with the brush in, no, but I think it's it's just um, been decanted into one of those little pots, the glue. I keep meaning to buy those little yeah, pots, actually, because people yeah. find them quite handy, don't they? Right, well, just to give it, take the plainness away, just use a cocktail stick, ah. just for the end of her skirt. I'll all be bored watching me cut holes in. <laughs> <laughs> all the way around. We're counting them with you, don't worry. <laughs> but again, it's just the small details that really make the model stand out and, you know, come to life, isn't it? Yeah. With the socks and the bow that's on a hat and things like that. It's adorable. A different thing when you're at home and you've got more time you yeah can, you can <laughs> fiddle around as long as you like <laughs> it's not quite the same here <laughs> you're doing amazing though don't worry lots of positive comments yeah, and feedback absolutely just a bit of water on the top um, those sponges could you just pass me those you can speak louder, you know. All oh, right. <laughs> Don't be going shy on us here. <laughs> right. Now this just goes over. I'm just going to drape that over. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. So cute, isn't it? And then just some. It's already got a hole in for me. <laughs> just so. Ah, uh, uh, right. Uh, okay. Sticks out. Just yeah. till it's dried off a little. Yeah. So Samantha Copeland, who was with us last week, says, I hope my Reese Heath students are watching. We will be making similar models very soon. So there you go, students. They can be picking up all the little hints and tips from Doreen tonight. Give you a head start. <laughs> yeah, Samantha was in here last week. She was good fun as well. It's just a matter of fiddling around, really, until you yeah, get a nice shape. the shape that you want. 
That's a great idea though to support it with the sponges. Yeah, absolutely. Right, from now on, <laughs> we're doing a bit of cheating. Okay. Oh, we? we like okay. cheating. We like... <laughs> That's twice, <laughs> isn't it? We're getting good at this, me and you. Well, actually, we're not. We've got it too long. <laughs> um, got to do the arms, haven't we? Yes. Yeah. You're a good assistant there, Joe, yeah. aren't you? You're on it. Are you sure you've not been sat in that kitchen nice. watching your mum? <laughs> this is the bit I hate, got to be honest. Oh, uh, right, okay. I'm not, I'll put my hand up. I'm not really, I guess by with doing hands. But we have a go. <laughs> God loves a <the> trial. <laughs> Well, it's like Charlotte Manis has just said, you do an amazing job and it's very brave of you to step out in front of the cameras. So even to just get this far, you're doing fantastic. Yeah, and to be fair, Doreen, there's lots of people who wouldn't come on here yeah. tonight. <laughs> you know, there's, I mean, I, I'm not being funny, but I've even spoken to some professionals who won't come on because they get nervous. You know, they're, they're, they'll, do, they'll make their own cakes and make them for customers and stuff, but then they get nervous actually stood in front of a camera. So you need to be very proud of yourself. It's just a long shape that goes thin at the bottom and just above, just to make the, the hand, just rub it round with your fingers so you get a shape. So just to confirm Karen Naylor, I'm actually eating nothing tonight <laughs> and I have one, two, three, four, five. People knowing I'm not eating anything, no. come on. Not at a thing, I'm starving actually. It's so good. <laughs> right, we've just flattened the end there. I find it far easier to cut your fingers with scissors. Yeah. I've tried it with the knife and you tend to drag the paste away. So it's just a thumb. Just cut it a piece out. Yeah. Just shape it off a bit. Great, doesn't it? Yeah. Some hand shaking. <laughs> Don't worry. So you've got your fingers. We have got five, have we? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't want six. <laughs> Concentration now, we're all watching I know. you intently, <laughs> aren't we? Don't Charlotte. know what you're nervous about doing those for because that's fantastic. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That was great. Charlotte McManus says you're doing an amazing job and it's very brave of you to step out in front of the cameras. Oh, did you just say that one? Sorry. It's all right, Carol. <laughs> that's, that's right. I thought I heard it before as I was reading it. <laughs> I'm sure I've just heard that. Not yet. No. <laughs> so we've got something that looks yeah. slightly like yeah, a hand. It actually looks like a very good yeah. hand. Yeah. And then okay. you've got your wrist part, and then halfway up, another, just another um, marking with your finger. And you've got your arm. Fantastic, that. It looks fantastic. Yeah, top tip on the oh, scissors, says so Rebecca Ingram. It really you is. You're picking her fingers up and everything. <laughs> She's affected. Oh dear. Well, our balls, lots of comments going on now about us niggering. 
Yeah, Karen Naylor says pink fingernails. It would be Carol's dream. You're going to get you're going to get down to <laughs> don't detail be silly, now. Don't yeah. be silly, Karen. <laughs> no, you've got to get a little bit more detail now. <laughs> Well, there's lots of comments saying that you've made the hands look very easy yeah. anyway. So they look great in the hands. <laughs> yeah. Gillian Sanson, Gillian Sanson <laughs> says, and we're off. <laughs> We've done well. It's ten past nine. <laughs> we're normally counting down the minutes to nine o'clock, aren't we? <laughs> Well, we could start. Are you putting any knickers on her? Oh, for yeah. <laughs> She's got them under there, that waist. <laughs> right. You could actually do, you know, the frilly. Yeah, I've like, oh, thought of that. You know, put yeah. a bit higher than that and put yeah. frills yeah. on. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah. 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 It's a wonder they can all understand my Scouse accent. <laughs> no, yeah, actually, it's not that broad. It's actually well. Um, we don't stock the little bottle for putting the glue in. Um, we only stock the little jars and tubs and you just pop a paintbrush in. Um, the little bottles, you can actually, I don't know where you can buy them, but I'll see if I can find them to buy and put some on the website because I know people have asked me about it a few times. Lynn Woodward said she had wondered about knickers but didn't like to ask. <laughs> so I'm not shy here, Lynn. <laughs> I actually think one hand is bigger than the other. They're waiting for me to start now. Pass yeah. the water sh shed. <laughs> I'm behaving myself. <laughs> you got shouted at the other week. Yeah, we got told, was it last week we got told yeah. off the week before? I can't remember. <laughs> right, now we've got that far. Good. Um, Do you want to turn it round so we can see? Right, right. Oh, can you see? Yeah. It's looking good. Because looking when good. you do the, the hat and the head, it's really better to make sure they're hardened off. Otherwise, you're going to squash the face in. Around the <laughs> squash the face. And in. The, hat won't, the hat won't go on properly. You can start squashing the head in, and, and it's you've just wasted your time then. So, what I did, I've made one already, which I'm going to use, and I'll put that on, but I'll then show you how to, how do to make it. The head. I have, to say, I have to say, the hat the hat is really very pretty. Yeah. So, did you all get that? What Doreen said is she's made the head and the hat in preparation for tonight because it's given it time to set. Um, and if she makes it, if she makes it soft now and puts it on, it will, it will actually be too hot, heavy and collapse. So one that she's prepared earlier is what now what she's going to fit onto the body. But then afterwards, she's actually going to make a head and a hat separately, ready to set again for her next one. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Wow, look She's at that. So <laughs> what do we think of that? Isn't she a beauty? the little boy the shape it's just a little bigger head <laughs> it looks very cute everybody absolutely loves it yeah. she is adorable though as i said before you've got more time at home you're not sort of yeah stuck for, you know we've got to hurry up <laughs> <laughs> Elaine Lawson mm. says she's in love. Gillian Sansom says she's gorgeous. Joe Chaplin says, wow, so good. Di Wheeler loves her. Dory Frost, she's beautiful. <laughs> she wants to call her Betty. 
Now, same thing as before. I think that's really clever as well to get the face shape. I've yeah, never, I wouldn't I even think about that. No. Two eye sockets. So just before you do that, so what Doreen's that done here, she's actually rolled the head into a ball in case you missed. She's used a little finger just to rub across the, well, it's not halfway, is it? What is it? A third of the way? Yeah. About a third of the way to give an indentation. And this is where it gives the shape of the face. And she's actually now going to use a ball tool to make two eye sockets. The foam that she's using is just a piece of foam that she's picked up from the pound shop. And she's using it as the rest to put the head on. It's actually a really good idea. The nose is the same thing, but bigger than the little boy one. I think we're going to move on to the collar shortly, Lynn. Oh, that's what I forgot, didn't we'll, I? We'll, we'll, well, we can do it after this, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> and you're all sitting there looking at it. <laughs> well, I <laughs> just assumed anything. you was going to do it with this head. No, no I, can, I can put it on after that. Right. Oh, that's nice. Leslie said you got to call her Carol. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I was that cute. <laughs> <laughs> and young. Her mouth is... Is this I'll have to be careful what you say now if you're going to call her uh, Carol. <laughs> <laughs> is this a Dresden tool? Yes, yes, the other side is. That's the other side of the Dresden oh. tool. Yeah. Well, this just goes straight in. Don't make her go too big now. No. She's going after my <laughs> name. <laughs> and then pull down a bit. That's perfect as well, that shape. Isn't mm. it? And so he's just said, is that a bath sponge cut down? Yes. Yes, well done. Well spotted, Lynn. <laughs> it's actually a really good idea. What made you think of that? Well, I, I actually started to use, um, I got one of your um, flower formers. Mm -hmm. Fine for flowers, but when you've got a bigger head, yeah. It wasn't just quite big enough. Yeah. But fine for those were the little boy. Yeah. So Ma Maria says she finds that she finds doing animals easy, but has struggled with doing people. These little people are amazing. Dory, you, Doreen, you have made it look so easy. You've inspired me. I'm going to be giving it a go tomorrow. Well done. That'd be quite good actually if everybody has a go. Let's see by next week how many. Um, models we can yeah. get made next week that would be great yeah everyone needs to post on the community page and then we can all have a look mm. um, and share ideas and things like that mm. be nice my favorite part again is pardon <laughs> my favorite part, part again yes. is We could actually do a little prize draw or something, couldn't we? Marie, we could do that. Oh, over, over then. We could do a little prize draw of everybody who makes some models. Maybe we should set a post up, eh? Who's going mm -hmm. to make one of Doreen's models? Mm -hmm. And then we'd give out a prize next week. What we're we giving you, Maria? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's got to carry the cake home from Spain first. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, Tina Pine, we've heard that as well, bag of cornflower works well, so cornflower pouch, and again, it's just a, a, a good shape to, to hold the head in, just without it getting affected. But if you've always got a piece of foam, it always stays yeah. the same, a cornflower pouch yeah. gets empty moves, in the end. And, yeah, moves about, yeah, changes shape each time you use it, doesn't it? And you can see by me just holding that for a few minutes, that the shape's going at the yeah. bottom. It's naturally just as, as your hands are warm, isn't it? You, yeah. There's just nothing you can do about it. Oh, I like that. Charlotte McManus said, yes, we could all make our own little sugar community. <laughs> That's quite nice, isn't it, with all the models? So would you like that, everybody? Shall we do that? Shall we put that up as a comp for next week, then? And so. if we get everybody making something, can next Monday we can put all the... All the um, you, you know, it's not about being the best. It's about 
participating. So we can put everybody's name in the hat and bring out a little prize. I'm sure I can think of something pretty good for a prize. Everybody will have their grandsons taking the way. thousands now. Someone did say before, apparently you can buy a bag of just white ones off Amazon, but I have no idea what size mm. they are. But these are the perfect ones. Yes. The ones that you need are called non parels I don't sell white ones. I only sell the rainbow ones. And I think I've got pinks, blues mm. and whatever. But I don't sell. I haven't got the white ones in stock. Yes, so we're up for a competition next week. See what you've started now, Doreen. <laughs> we're going to start the cute little sugar and crumbs community <laughs> in sugar. <laughs> I think we'll put that up as a post, shall we? Mm. I think I'll put that up as a post afterwards. Mm. And this is just a little bit of the colour splash dust. Is this blush or pale pink? Pale pink. Pale pink. It, that really makes a difference though, doesn't it? Just to the features. It does, yeah. Wait for a colour. You know, that one's got a colour. Oh, a colour, yes. <laughs> Sorry, do you know what I was thinking? A neck. <laughs> I thought that was a colour. <laughs> Realise what you've missed. No. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll do that after I've done my head. I've just taken a picture ready for the post for tomorrow. A second head. <laughs> I was just thinking about doing the picture for tomorrow, and, that, and <laughs> Laura's going, wait for a collar, and I'm thinking, well, it's there. Well, that's a neck, isn't it? <laughs> so you're going to take that off? No, no I can just, I can just do it and open it up. And oh, right, okay then. Around it. Yeah, um, what have you lost what now? You I'm looking for some brown colour. Is that brown? No, um, paint. Oh, paint. paint. Just have some in the bag, do you want? In the bag? Are you sure? Have we got some? In the bag, that's the box. It's just the wee eyebrow. Mm -hmm. Oh, do you want a pen? Is that a brown pen? Have you got a thin, Bria? thin one? I've got a brown pen there. Calligra's in uh, the calligra's being used now. Is that, is that there's two browns? Is that a light brown or a dark brown? Oh, that's too thick, that one. Oh, that's nice. I would make you use the new um, brushes, but you might just be a bit too nervous in front of everybody. <laughs> well, I've, I've got one, haven't yeah, I? That's what exactly. I wanted to paint for, but I don't know where <laughs> I put it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, nice, aren't they? A few little lashes on there as well, that's adorable. We're on to the hair now, are we? Well, when you do the hat, sometimes if you don't get the hat tight enough, mm. you just need a little bit of hair above the ears so the hat will sit ah, on. Ah, okay. I must say I'm so tidy when I'm at home, it's all <laughs> over the floor and everywhere. <laughs> So the edible pens are on the wish list, Susan. So if you pop over to our website, sugarandcrumbs.co.uk, if you go to the search button, write the word Calligra, and that will bring up all the colours that we do. Or if you go to the wish list, Facebook wish list, drop into this month's menu, look for Doreen, and they're all in the wish list there. They're fractal colours. They're suitable for a vegetarian, vegan diet. Also, uh, they're a halal certified. And Elaine Lawson said she would look cute with some freckles. 
You're not going to see that when the hat's on. But no, it just, just to secure it. If there's yeah. Some hair there. So Linda, Donna, uh, Linda Donnelly has just mentioned the sprinkle range that we actually sell are called quality sprinkles. We do sell them. We haven't got the white ones in stock, but they are on Amazon. But that is exactly the range that we sell ourselves. Albeit our sprinkles are in rainbow colours. Um, pinks, blues and um, reds and the reds and they're called yeah. non-parallels. <clears throat> Same as for the little boys. Yeah. And if anybody notices our new recruit in the kitchen today, we've got Shelly. Mm -hmm. And Maria is training Shelly to make little videos for sugar and crumbs. So Shelly has been with us a week now, haven't you, Shelly? It's your second week. Yeah. Yeah, I'm enjoying it. It's going well. You have to say that, Shelly. You're on a <laughs> That's a clever idea as well, just using the cocktail stick for the shape. Really easy. Well, it isn't actually, it's fiddly. That's it is I, fiddly, but I that had to use that. I had to do that That's... to make my unicorn hair that ah, time. Do you right. remember? Yeah. And it is fiddly, isn't it, Doreen? It look, it's a great idea, but it can At be least fiddly. You, can, you haven't got to get it off there. You yeah. Can put it still on the cocktail <laughs> stick. Leslie That's Bithell sad. said she's trying. To, <laughs> Leslie Bithell says she's trying to get her daughter out the bath so she can cut the bath sponge up. <laughs> Poor child. <laughs> I need the bath sponge. And everyone's saying, "Welcome, Shelley." No. Oh. Can you bake? A little bit. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Robert. Maria has an apprentice <laughs> going up in the world at Sugar and Crumbs. Is Maria? She's now got her own sidekick. <laughs> <laughs> right, now it's the hat. What I did, I went all around the house trying to find something, the right shape to make the hat. And I ended up asking my husband to saw the top off some, <laughs> off something. <laughs> and he did it for me, right in the middle of the football. Oh, did it for me. Got outside and I looked at it. Too big. <laughs> I didn't tell him. <laughs> so what are you going to use then? Um, you know the cocktail sticks when you get the very small size? Mm. Tall, narrow one. So is that the lid off the cocktail sticks? It's the lid off the cocktail sticks. And the <laughs> There's going to be a mad rush tomorrow. Where yeah. did you get the cocktail sticks from? Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's just amazing what you find when you look around yeah. the hat. And I filled the little hole in with some of the paste so you yeah. don't get the indent. And it's just a nice size. Perfect. Everybody be out running, yeah. running around tomorrow. But it is, it is just whatever you find around the house and it's like when you're using things for cutters and shapes and you end up yeah. finding something random and you just think that's perfect shape or design. So a few people, Maloney has asked, Shelley, will you be wearing jumpers? She's cold as well. She's always wrapped up just like Maria. I don't know what it is. It's like a jumper. <laughs> <laughs> like when you do this, you've got to make sure you put plenty of corn flour on there so it comes off easy when it's set. And get it as tight as you can to the top. Small one there, Jo. Um, it was a minute ago. Isn't that the small oh, one? That is the small that one. That's yeah. the small yeah. one. Your big ones there. Yeah. All oh, right. You just put it over the top and cut that off for your brim.
perfect way to make a hat, says Karen Butler. The little hearts are also great to put on cupcakes for Mother's Day or Easter bonnet cupcakes. Oh, that's a nice it's quite one. nice, isn't it? Yeah. We'll be knocking these out tomorrow. We've got a Nick Doreen's top now. <laughs> and then I just, just use this to just flatten the edge and just make it a little bit more trilly. Philippa Burke says she made the acorn hats for her elves using the top of the rejuvenated spirit. <laughs> <laughs> it is amazing what you find though, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> That's quite a nice way to thin it out yeah. as well, isn't it? Just keep um, turning that to make sure it's as tight as possible. Otherwise you'll have your, your half falling over the nose with a little girl. <laughs> is that going to be popping out easy enough or is that going to be like my cup and saucer? <laughs> <laughs> no, it will come out easier. Um, but it, it does. It, I I would say leave it about two hours. Right. You know to harden yeah. off. It it possibly overnight. I always try to do it and leave it overnight. And just do a little band. Positive comments, Doreen. Mm -hmm. Honestly, people are loving it tonight. Some people are saying make uh, make the hats and then put little Easter bunny ears on them. <laughs> yeah, that's a cute idea. Mm -hmm. Angela Black says she's really enjoying this tonight. Mm -hmm. Everybody is. Wish I was. Oh. <laughs> Doreen. And then it's not gone yet. You're doing brilliant. <laughs> Well, yeah. put it this way, there's less left of the live than there was at the beginning. Yeah. <laughs> and Doreen, it's half past nine, you've been yeah. going for one and a half hours now. You've done amazing. Have you yeah. not felt that one and a half hours fly no, by fast? Just... <laughs> <laughs> Lost my butter. Oh, God. See, I've gone <laughs> And these are really handy as well, aren't they, these little tools? Yeah. Everybody loves what you're doing. That roller is a really good, yeah. the ribbon, uh, what's it called? Good, the ribbon, what's it is called? It? It's not, is it? No, it's the multi-ribbon tool. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. is that it? Yeah. Multi-ribbon. It's great because you can measure it to any size that you want, kind mm. of, for strips. Are you still nervous, Dory? You've got to knock out a rabbit yet. Oh. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> oh <God. Less> <laughs> Be like a rabbit in the headlights. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Valerie Swansick says, Doreen, you're a professional now. <laughs> Everybody's saying, Doreen, you've done brilliantly. The little gadget, Linwood Wood, is a multi ribbon. We just said it, didn't we? Yeah. But yeah, I'll, put it, I'll pop it in the wish list because Doreen sneaked that out on us and didn't tell us. Oh, it is on the wish list. All right. She didn't sneak it out. Maria knows. <laughs> Everyone's saying you're doing an amazing job. And Steph says, Steph Nemo says, you can't be nervous when you're that good. <laughs> See, look, all the support there is brilliant. Yeah, so it's, a, it's the FMM multi-ribbon tool. On the web on the website for ten ninety nine and it is so handy. It's fantastic. You can cut, actually cut cut it from really tiny thin strips to I think is it one inch two inch strips? Yeah, it's got the different um, spaces. Yes. Are you enjoying watching your mother, Joe? Have you ever watched this much? <laughs> Not quite as much. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I usually come home from work and find that there's more. More people or more animals <laughs> or something has joined the group in the kitchen. 
I think Dory should take a whole picture of them collected together. Do you think we'd get them all together on one workshop? No. Uh, <laughs> no. They're under the bed <laughs> in cupboards. <laughs> I don't know where I've got all those bits from. <laughs> and what's this? Are you making this your own just, bow here? Just a quick bow. See, like that? Just a quick bow. <laughs> <laughs> Tracy Lawrence there says, look, she loves all the demonstrations in the SNC kitchen. Well done to everyone and keep up the good work. Carol, are you going to be at CI? Sorry, I'm not going to Cake International in April. Sorry, guys. Yes, we're trying, Elaine, we'll try and get Dorian to take a picture of a whole load of them. But apparently they're under beds, they're in wardrobes, they're in drawers. <laughs> Her husband is having to move out because there's no space left for him. But we'll try, we'll try and get, get as many as we can together and get Dorian to take some pictures of them all. That's a lovely little finishing touch that for the hat. Really makes a difference to the details. You're already being requested to come back, Doreen. Oh right. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> yes, oh, so Linda's nice quite Linda's quite right about the uh, multi ribbon tool. You can actually do straight edges or frilly ones with it as well. See how cute that is? How lovely and cute is that hat? Look, so easy. Right now, we'll put that hat on this. Yeah. And hope that it doesn't get squashed in. <laughs> Will it come off that cocktail thing, that lid? Oh. Yeah. Got that hat as well. Oh. Yeah, I'm just seeing, see if this is dry enough to go on. Well, it's still too soft. So you're going to put the one you pre-made earlier? Yeah. <laughs> We're not allowed to let you leave tonight until you're booked in for another date. <laughs> <laughs> what would you like to see her make next time? <laughs> What's the favourite model you've made then? I like doing animals. I like any of them, really. See, now that's just... Fits nice with the yeah, yeah, the hair, bits yeah. of hair around. Super, right? <clears throat> Looks good. It's gonna fall off, <laughs> but you get the gist. We do. It looks good. So, what do we think, everyone? How cute is that? So then, um, Dorian's going to make the collar for a little girl because she forgot before. So just a quick reminder for anyone who's missed any of the beginning or can't stay with us until the end you can watch the whole Facebook live when we've finished it will be pinned to the top of the Facebook page and then it also gets transferred over to YouTube as well normally by midweek and um, if there's anything that you want to purchase that you've seen tonight from Doreen you can go over to the Sugar and Crumbs website which is sugarandcrumbs.co.uk and you can search under brands using the search bar at the top or go to the Facebook live wish list which is over on the right hand side. Perfect, Laura. Thanks. I get to keep my job. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> See, now that Maria's got an assistant, you've got to stay, haven't you? Right? And you've got an assistant this week, I have. haven't you? I have yeah. got an assistant. Yeah. We've got a new recruit in the office called Yin. Have I got a name right this time? <laughs> I wasn't sure. <laughs> I'm, I've got. I've called her every name but her own. Finn, Yin, Lin, Kin, anything but not a right name. This is actually too big. This. 
I needed a smaller one. A, a smaller round? No, a round one. <laughs> oh, do you want me to, I've got the... Is that go a nozzle? Could be yeah, what about, what about a nozzle? Okay. Do you want a nozzle? No, this is fine. Yeah. It could do with being a bit smaller, but it will still work. Oh, we've got Patsy Klein here. See, yeah. if you did that, oh, if yeah. you didn't forget it, and you cut that out, yeah. you've no need to use that circle one, you can just put it straight on. But because I forgot, I've done it the hard way. <laughs> ah, right, okay. <laughs> Wasn't Patsy Klein a singer? singer yeah. Is she dead now? Ooh, I don't know. Like, like, I, was, I was going to make a joke, but then thought it might be a bad joke. <laughs> What's up? She was going to do it here. Oh, yeah. No, I have to do it there. Patsy, yeah, that. Yeah, see. <laughs> oh, you can't get away with that, Dory. We don't want to miss anything. Blue jumper on. If you wear anything blue or black, it all comes mm. off. Oh, right. That's the, that's the thing. It's just fluff, isn't there? But I will tell you, nobody can see it. No. Oh, that's cute. That's a little finishing touches. Yeah. yeah so the request is for zoo animals. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Animals next time. What is it? Zoo animals. <laughs> Penguins. Yeah. Sorts. Yeah. Right, so we'll get her booked in before she goes. Got to chat with the daughter, see when the daughter can bring her again. I'll give her a little button. So Leslie Davidson says, Doreen, I understand why you feel nervous, but don't be. You are amongst the sugar paste family. Aww. And once you've done one demo, the rest will be easier. But you must be feeling a bit more relaxed now, Doreen. Now it's gone to the end. <laughs> <laughs> to the end, yeah, you've got to knock out a rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> right, so we've given her a little button. Oh, oh look at that. That was cute. Oh. That's so cute. I absolutely love it. I'm going to turn around on this camera. Yeah. That Can you turn on. around? What do we think? How cute is she? Absolutely fabulous. What would I do without you? I know, you've been Aww. a great assistant tonight, Joe. For a while. Hey? <laughs> Everybody absolutely loves it. Do you want to know, are you able to make a giraffe? Yes, when you do that. Yeah? yeah? So we're gonna, are we going to get you back for <laughs> zoo animals? <laughs> <I'm> okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, Doreen, there's no point you sat at home making them when you can come in here and people really appreciate what you do. So I think we've got her on for zoo animals, everybody. We've got. Did you hear that? Okay, make sure you say yes. <laughs> <laughs> it was a bit high pitched. <laughs> So we're on to the rabbit now and the, that um, little pot's just a bit of um, PME petal base that we sell on the website. It's great stuff that's yeah. actually just really nice to use. It's on the wish list. Yeah, good. Okay, she's getting too good at this job. This is why she got an assistant. <laughs> <laughs> Proved yourself now, Maria. <laughs> So, while you're just doing that, um, can we, they just requested, can they get a close-up of the bow on the hat that you made? Ah, right. so Do you want to just stop for a minute, Dory, yeah. go and grab it from, that was one you made before, wasn't it? Is that the same type of bow, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. So do you want to just lift that up and put it towards this camera here, Dory, so they can see? Right, just okay, down, down a bit. Down. There we Stop. go. And can you tip it towards you so we can see? Mm -hmm. Tip the front towards you. Oh. Down a bit. That's yeah. it, there we go. There we go. So Dory showed you how to make that free hand. Very clever. There we go, perfect. Super.
The petal base is really a handy little uh, little um, product and you just put a little bit in your hands just to sort of like grease your hands up so when you're rolling the modelling paste, it That's actually works into the modelling paste. This as well, yeah. doesn't it? it works okay. into the modelling paste and helps soften it up. It's actually really handy to be fair. I quite like it. That's just a cone shape. Really. And I Bobby. think it's just like Trex except that they put mm. vanilla flavouring in. Yeah, well when <laughs> I haven't had this I've, I've used, used Trex. Trex, yeah. And they're saying, thank you, Doreen, and thank you for saying you will come back. It was a bit high-pitched. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Can Doreen make dinosaurs? Don't talk to me about dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> I've got um, a pepper pig to make to do at the weekend. And I didn't have a clue about all the things in pepper pig. Um, and everyone on the group was telling me, you know, what should be on it. And they were all going on about the dinosaur. Is it George, yeah. George's dinosaur? Oh, George's yeah. dinosaur, yeah. Well, it must have been about this bit. Yeah. Have you ever tried to get teeth in a, in a, in a man? Oh, I swore. I said, no, no. I'm not making a dinosaur again. <laughs> jo Chaplin is a regular and she is really enjoying it as she is on holiday in New Zealand. Wow. She's zoomed in to watch us. Must be early morning there now, isn't it, Joe? What time is it there? What will they be? Twelve hours ahead? What time is it? There? Who's this? Joe Joe Chaplin. Chaplin. Oh. But she's a regular on the community group, but she's Monday on holiday in New Zealand. It's wonder you haven't seen my sister come up. She's in New Zealand. Well, there's been quite a few people from um, over Australia and New Zealand tonight. Yeah, because um is it Louisa? Louisa normally joins us, doesn't she? And it's mm. early hours there. Yeah. From Australia. I tell you, we've got some proper requests in horses now. <laughs> have all sorts being requested. Carol, you'll have what to give me. You know what, Doreen? Well done. Well done. <laughs> get cocky now, Doreen. Go for it. You tell them they get what they're given. <laughs> Look at that oh, Winnie the horses. Pooh characters. Oh, God. All right, crikey. We'll have to book you in for about the next 30 sessions. <laughs> Yes, Joe's watching this and it's 10.45 a.m. in New oh, Zealand. I can't see that. Yeah. yeah, we don't know where Louisa is. She's normally with us, isn't she? Mm. So the body's just a slightly different shape, isn't it? It's not as cone shaped yeah. as this one. Yeah, Doreen, you haven't told us what you've been doing. You've Sorry. just cracked on there. Should we, should we stop and tell <laughs> him what you've just done? Yeah. We just put a round ball on for his head on the cone shaped body. And now it's just two circles for his muzzle and the little pink nose. Um, Dawn Edwards, if you just give us a few minutes, once we've finished the rabbit, we will do a close-up on the girl's face, but I don't want to just keep flicking backwards and forwards. We're just going to stick with the rabbit until we've finished, and then I promise we'll do a close-up of each one that we've done this evening. Yeah, that's good. The requests are still coming in for these animals. Mm -hmm. it's sloth now. <laughs> what? Oh yes, yeah, sloth, I saw that. <laughs> now two feet. Sort of um, oblong, really, with yeah. a bit narrow at one end. Linda Mills, Carol, did you get my video on the shower cup saga? I didn't, Linda, but please private message me. I'm interested. And we all are. And Karen Nelson says you make lovely robin, make lovely robins. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Ah, see how quickly that's come together now. You've tracked his feet on it. It's beginning to look yeah. like it. I can only see the back of it. An awful lot of bits coming. Don't worry. Off me. <laughs> it will be. Bring off your blue jumper. Can't see anything. But you can't see it here now. No, the draw hasn't happened yet. You all have to wait. I'm just amazed I got this for. On to my rabbits as well. Yeah, I know. <laughs> You're doing very well. You've done great. <laughs> and you know what? It's 10 to 10, so you've got plenty yeah. of time. Just doing a few pads on his. They're calling him Thumper. <laughs> so for his, few, for his pads, what have you done there then? Just the pink balls. Yeah. The bigger one at the bottom and then a few smaller ones around the top. Perfect timing just for Easter as well. That's lovely. Sue Burgess says she could watch you all night making these. <laughs> Actually, it would be easier just to paint these on. <laughs> <laughs> now let's do it the hard way. <laughs> um, Stephanie, this is the Renshaw flower and modelling paste that Doreen's using tonight. So it's sold on the Sugar and Crumbs website. And um, it's available in a whole range of colours as well. And it's lovely to work with. Patsy, the, the grease that you're talking about is called Petal Base. It's made by PME. It is on the wish, light, wish list. If you go to our Facebook page, you get our Facebook page, our website, you could actually just put in the search Petal Base and it will come up. Um, it's very much like a Trex, except that this one is uh, flavoured with vanilla. And it's a, in a handy little tub. In fairness, it goes a long way, doesn't it, Doreen? I'll give you that. I, I've got one that lasts for ages, doesn't it? I've had that. About six weeks now. Mm -hmm. And you just put a little bit in your hand, rub it into your hand, warm it up, and then you roll your paste into your hand. And it helps um, roll in the, roll in the um, sugar paste or flour paste. It makes it a little bit easier. If you watch any of our previous Facebook Live demos back, you'll see people like Marion Frost from Patchwork Cutters using it on the board and things like that as well. Oh, nice smell to it as well, mm. hasn't it? Yeah, vanilla. It's catching, Carol. <laughs> Two holes through there. <laughs> Joanne doesn't speak, she just points. <laughs> she's, very good. she's been a great assistant tonight. <laughs> Looking good. These are just two teardrop shapes. I think we've got lots of people who are going to attempt these. Sorry. Yeah. Well, I think we'll put a post on afterwards yeah. for everybody and we'll do a prize draw next week. We'll just put everybody's name in the pot again. That's 
I think I'll tell you what we can do is we can do um, one that we can give away one of those flower Renshaw flower modelling paste sets where you get five different colours in a pack. Mm. Oh, we're being asked for the bearded dragon now. No, that's Iris, that. <laughs> oh. oh, he's really looking a bit like a seal. Eh? <laughs> looks a bit like a seal. <laughs> <laughs> One of his little pink pads has just fell off there, Dory, just behind his leg. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I don't think Maria's feeling the heat. She's still got that jumper on. I'm feeling the cold. Mm. My knee was in here on Saturday with the class. The door was open, the door was closed. Yeah. I was on hot flushes. Well, get them out. You knew what was coming next, did you? <laughs> you thought I were doing the ears, not the Easter egg. Eh? <laughs> Is that what you were thinking? <laughs> Tracy Lawrence says, I love llamas. Have we got a llama being made next? <laughs> well, she can come and show me how to make them. <laughs> I tell you, you're going to have a massive long request tonight, Dory, when you go through all this. It's just another teardrop shape. And flatten it. Two holes in his head, ready for the ears. I haven't got my coat on, Angela, simply because I forgot to bring it in, but I really feel as though I could do with it. <laughs> I've got a brain, I've got a cold brain at the moment. My head's killing me. That's a bit big, actually. <laughs> Looks a bit. You could always bend one ear down. Yeah, you? that's a bit floppy. Over. Call him floppy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, doesn't look right. No, <laughs> it doesn't look right at all. Take the root off. So Elaine Lawson's asked, how do you store your models so they keep nice? I was just going to shout that one Sorry. out. We could have done that together there, couldn't we? In We're in tune tonight, box. me and you, aren't we? Yeah. Just in a cardboard box? Yeah. And do you just I keep just them forever? They'll last forever. <laughs> <laughs> I, do, I do use some occasionally, you know, when I do a cake for a friend or something. It's amazing how many times they come in handy. Yeah. Otherwise, they're just... Locked away in the little box all the time. <laughs> you could end up having a raid at your house. Uh. A load of people coming along because they're not going to send models. Well, I've been there, uh, <laughs> well, there'll, be, there'll, be photo, there'll be messages tomorrow. What have you got under the bed, Dory, <laughs> that I could use? I'm desperate for this one. What have you got? I need that one. Especially where, if you take pictures of them all. Things in front of you, you can't find anything. <laughs> and this is just the lush, uh, the pale pink, isn't it, from the colour splash mm. range?
and seen to see stuff. An Easter egg. <laughs> what are you doing an Easter egg? Okay. Is this what? Oh yeah, this is yeah. got one as well. Yeah. Ah, right. You do you got a deuce bow yet, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. I wish I'd better do the bow first, haven't you? I'll just stick that on there, as you can see. It's pink yeah, matches my nails. Yeah, it does. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so what do is we're going to do a little competition saying so many of you have really enjoyed this demo tonight and said you're all going to have a go this week so i'll put on a post after this live um with with a couple of pictures that i'll take of dory and what she's made tonight see what you can make we'll enter everybody's name in the drawer so it's not about the best one or anything like that it's just about having fun and we'll make our own little sugar and crumbs characters community and um, all made out of sugar and then everybody's name can go in the drawer and then next monday um i'll do a prize of renshaw flower modeling paste a pack of five and if you're really good i might throw in a color grip pen <laughs> what do you do for the bunny tail just, just a little bubble just a, a white bubble um, a cocktail stick again and just fluff it up a bit. Um, the pink dust was just for his ears and it's on uh, the faces of the models before and it's a colour splash dust in pale pink. So Doreen is going to come back and do another Facebook Live for us. Um, not entirely sure what we'll be able to rope her into doing, but it will be animals. So that seems um, to have been the big request tonight, yeah, hasn't it? Yeah, we'll leave Doreen up to whichever animals she wants. We've had loads of requests, <laughs> but we'll leave it up to Doreen to decide. <laughs> Talking of that though, we do have Georgie Godbold in the kitchen on Saturday doing a Facebook Live this week. Um, I've got to be honest, I can't remember what time that we're doing the live, whether it was 2, two o'clock. So this Saturday, Georgie Gobbold is in the Sugar and Crumbs kitchen doing a Facebook live. We've also got Natalie Porter having a two-day class here this week. So Georgie will be in our house kitchen. Um, so I hope that you're here. She'll show you some of the models. And Doreen follows Georgie, don't you? So, um, so we'll show you lots of new models there as well. We'll also get Doreen back. We just need to talk to her daughter when they can come back again. But I will make sure that Doreen does not leave the premises <laughs> until we have a date. And so, Linda, we'll pop on the details of the draw for the animal, for the models that have been done. And um, so, yeah, preferably anything based on what Doreen's shown tonight. Um, just so it shows um, what skills you've managed to put to the test and what Doreen's been through. Um, and it is just a bit of fun, um, you know, where, whoever participates, and then we'll just go into a prize draw um, and then we'll, we'll judge it that way rather than, you know, professional or, you know, the effort that's gone into. Obviously, everyone's different level, skill levels and, and that's the fairest way. So it is just for a bit of fun. Yeah, because if you put it in as a draw, it means everybody gets a chance yes, to win. Whereas if you, if you pick it for the best one, then it's always just going to be the best one. Yeah, it's a fair chance. We've done this bow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, look at that. That's cute. <laughs> Do we like it? Yeah, it's really cute. picks an Easter egg going to be? Is he going to be a greedy bunny or? <laughs> <laughs> it's just a circle and then making it into an oval. Yeah. 
Yes, Maria. Georgie is at the Renshaw Academy on um, Thursday and Friday this week, and then she is coming over to the Sugar and Crumbs Kitchen. So she's coming over and um, she is going to be doing um, a live here in the kitchen. Uh, the only thing is I can't remember what time I need to message her and find out, but she should be over here somewhere between two and four on Thursday. It's a big Easter egg. Mm -hmm. That's fine, it's part of the Sugar and Crumbs family, he fits in with us. Absolutely. <laughs> Maria's clever, she's a mind reader. She's got them all out ready, hasn't she? <laughs> This is what she's got to train Shelley to do now. Think ahead, Shelley. <laughs> Are you getting all these tips, girl? Yeah. Mm. Do you know what? And I've had to go and. <laughs> yeah. He's adorable, that bunny. What do you think of those pens, Dory? They're great, aren't they? Yeah. I have got a few, but the, um, the nips seem to be very broad and for anything like it. Have you got the clicker the clicker ones yeah. you won't have it. It's the other ones won't it? Yeah the clicker ones have got the very fine tips. And it's not a hard one. I've had a pen pens in the past and they've been rock hard, you know, the nibs. Mm -hmm. you, yeah. can't, you just drag the ice in. They don't work well, well at all. Well the good thing with these pens as well, just let me tell you, you can actually write it straight onto wet mm. ice in. Whereas a lot of pens yeah, you can't. I'm amazed that that's gone on without yeah. smearing everywhere. Yeah, that's what's nice because normally when you use a pen, you have to wait for the icing to dry and it's great for writing on. So, do we want to turn him around? Oh, are we putting a bunny cute. tail on him or are we yes. not bothering? Put one on the tail on. Tina, we don't sell them as a set. I used to sell them as a set, but what I've done is, is not everybody wanted all the colours. So I've just brought them all down to the best possible price I possibly can. You didn't get them in your gold box. They were different pens. These ones are actually special pens. So these pens are actually really very, very fine, suitable for a vegetarian, vegan and halal diet. Um, and you didn't... That you didn't get those no, ones. They're a different these, brand. these are called Calligra. The ones who had gold boxes last um, got colour splash pens, weren't they? Yeah. And they are they are a, a paint pen. They're very they are quite different to use. Yeah, they are. It took us ages to open one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Right, what do we think of that? Wow, oh, come on yes. then, get those love hearts up. Let us know what you think, everybody. Are you done, Doreen? Have you yes. got over it? Yes. Well done. <laughs> can we just, can I just hold the girl up? So we just want to close up of her face, which I'm going to do without flipping her over. Can we get, I'm just see if we can get them all together on a board or something. Oh, Carol. Yeah. That's a good idea. What? Are you putting them all together on the phone board? I'm doing my best. Don't want the responsibility of dropping one. Take those away now. Yeah. So there we go. Get a nice close up there. Right, okay then everybody. So which camera are we on? I'm just gonna get a close up on these like I've been requested. Are we in? Yeah. yeah. So there's the baby and the little girls and the bunnies. Can't pick the baby up yet, he's not sad. No. So I don't want to pick him up and ruin him. <laughs> no, let's that. show the one that Dory brought with her. So as you can see, she's done one earlier, little boy, and then she's done a little girl. So just to give you an idea, so she's done a little girl, but she's put a little bow on her head. <laughs> she's yeah. cute. 
And then she's done another little girl, same idea, but this time she's actually not put a hat on. She's done a little ponytails. Can we see that? Yeah. Yeah. What else have we got here? And she didn't make this one because we, didn't, we haven't got time, but to be fair, she wasn't going to make it anyhow. But this one is the patchwork cutters, and this is the nursery box. Is it called nursery block? Yeah. yeah. And you buy a polystyrene, um, you what? get a couple of polystyrene mm. blocks in it, don't you, one? Yeah, and all the, all the motives on the side, Yeah. that comes with it. Yes, yeah, so all the motives on the side all come with it. The teddy wouldn't come with it, though, would no. it? No, that comes with that little mould. So that's there as well. So I hope you enjoyed that, everybody. So I hope you're giving all those thumbs up. Love's heart. Come here, Doreen. We <laughs> see her relax got... now. Yes. <laughs> the arms round her. She's not going anywhere till we book a date. Okay. So she's got all relaxed. You're smiling now. You're yes. happy. Yeah. Right. Got one more job to do. So let's do the draw for this then. Okay. So these brushes, we actually sell these on the website. We are the. Um, UK stockists for these uh, brushes. They are amazing. Doreen actually owns one herself. Okay, so I'll just pull them out there. So they are made by Global... I, I always want to go Global Sh Sugar, Sugar Artists. Artists. That's correct, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. So Global Sugar Artists. There's actually four pens in the collection. Um, two of them can fit in this little wallet. You can buy the wallet extra as well. And the two that we're giving away tonight, courtesy of Global Sugar Artists, is the um this is the master series double zero and the master series zero so you can see how can you see against my hand yeah. can you see against that yeah that's better on the that's back. better isn't it yeah. so can you see how fine these are for so for all you guys who want to do fine detail work these are amazing and to be fair doreen has hers here she brought it with her tonight where did you put yours yeah so Doreen brought hers with us tonight. She was yes. going to use it, but she couldn't find the brown paint. And uh, <laughs> so uh, she was going to use it to show you how to use it as well, because it's great for doing your eyelashes and your fine detail for your eyes, everything. So we're going to do the draw for this. And um, the draw was closed at six o'clock tonight. Shelley was busy writing everybody's names. That was, she got that job. <laughs> See, that's what happens when you're the assistant. <laughs> yeah, that's your job. Copy them names. <laughs> but Maria did get the job of um, cutting them all up. So Maria's cut these all up. I think there's about 200 of in here. I mean, no more. <laughs> more. more no more. There's a lot, anyhow. So, Doreen, so just one second. So, just so you don't see your name. <laughs> oh. Pick one of those out when you read it. Glasses. <laughs> oh, we've got to put your glasses on. <laughs> Amanda Sykes. Oh, Amanda Sykes. I don't, I don't know who I've Amanda Sykes is, no. <laughs> but let's just have a show everybody so amanda sykes has actually won the draw tonight congratulations private message me amanda and then we will get these in the post to you tomorrow yes so well done so just to let you know come here doreen just to let you know that we will be back in the sugar and crumbs on saturday for a proper facebook live so it's not just a quick flash up us doing the class or anything it will be alive with georgie godbold in the kitchen she's actually going to be in my other kitchen because we have natalie porter in here on saturday and sunday and on monday night we've got natalie porter in as well doing a facebook live so two great events make sure you're here we'll see you then and that is a goodbye from all of us bye bye, <laughs> bye everyone bye <laughs>